Kane gonna eventually get Lorenzo or Lorenzo gonna eventually get Kane. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video with Life with Chester. This is for Power Book 2 Go Season 3, Episode 3. Okay, so these two gonna end up taking each other out. One gonna make a move on the other one, or that one gonna make a move on him. Because Kane over here, you know, if you didn't know, Kane found out that Lorenzo the one who took out Zeke. But my thing is, it was he wasn't trying to. Now they did tell him um, they was gonna handle it, so it is kind of his fault. Because nobody told him to. In a way, he's just like Kane. Because, you know, can't nobody tell Kane nothing as well. So, <laughs> yeah, I remember that scene when he was like, Mecca. <laughs> he was watching the dude. He did have a hood on and everything. Zeke had a hood on. He was like, Mecca. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> but, yeah, um, Kane over here got Lorenzo being his dude boy. Got him making drops. Um, then they show Lorenzo getting beat up. At first, I was like, okay, who beating him up? And why is Kane watch watching or whatever? Then Kane goes, and he tells him, you're getting off easy for what you did to Drew. And I said, so he had to be behind it. But, yeah, he over here um, making Lorenzo do whatever he want him to do. And I said, yeah, Kane, Lorenzo is going to get you. If he'll make Drew get beat up for his benefit, and he chose him for the business, he sort of like him. You don't stand a chance because you seem like you his least favorite. I was like, he had no problem taking you out. And even with the uh, whole interaction, uh, what is that called? Condo or whatever, the condo penthouse. Um, when he's talking to him, I was like, yeah, he don't like you. And he's sick of, he, you don't like him. He don't like you. Y'all both sick of each other. So eventually that's what's going to happen. And it makes me wonder, you know, at the end of the episode when, uh, Kane was threatening Brayden talking about he still owe him a body I was like will Lorenzo be that body because you know last, I think it was last season where they was talking about Kane taking out Lorenzo or whatever but he didn't do it and I was like he said he owed him a body so do y'all think it would be Lorenzo we see a scene if you haven't it's on YouTube somewhere where uh, Monet is telling Lorenzo to get out of town so I was like uh, I don't know I was like, I just don't see Lorenzo getting out of town. First of all, he didn't even like taking orders from Monet. So I'm like, okay, they're going to have to watch that back. Then with Diana, you know, she's a daddy's girl. So uh, they're going to double cross them. They're going to double. Something going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, but something going to happen to create division between all of them. I should say again, because they already divided. They already been divided. Lorenzo ain't going to be able to keep letting Kane run things. Like, even when they was all at the, it was, it was Lorenzo, Kane, Drew, and I think Diana. And Kane just kept talking, and Diana kept uh, talking to Poppy. Kept talking to Poppy, like, Poppy, or whatever. He should be in charge. And then she was, he was like, listen to your brother. And I was like, yeah, they know something going down. And even with the uh, situation at the, uh, the condo, <laughs> I can call it, I don't know if it's, I forgot, was it a condo or a penthouse? At the house, this is what we're going to say. But Lorenzo told that uh, Kane in charge, and Drew knows something is up. He's like, something's going on between y'all two. And I was like, look, Kane, you do, you do, they already kicked you out before. <laughs> they basically kicked him out before. If I were him, I wouldn't even be connected. I would have a backup plan or something because they've already revealed that you are, uh, what they call, disposable. You are disposable at this point. And then Lorenzo don't like you anyway, so you better watch your back. But the body, I think if he get boys down to it, he definitely would have Braden try to take him out or whatever. Or somebody would try to take Kane out for Lorenzo. Or Lorenzo would do it himself. Like, you could tell. But Lorenzo goes to Diana to help him, to help move product or whatever. He said he need help because Kane done told him he got <laughs> he got to move extra. And I was like, Kane, you still forgot who you dealing with just because you know the information how you know he won't have you handled he already had the cops how he get the cops in the doggone prison to beat you up so you know he probably got connections outside of um now that he outside of the prison and i was like kane kane too bold kane gonna get caught up he gonna get caught slipping or something davis we're gonna talk about davis next so davis um is meeting up with tyreek and Brady, and he tells tyreek that a suit does a lot for an image but he won't fool the people still watching him and i said i wonder would davis ever flip on tyreek because you know sax over here piecing together everything he over here gathering evidence i hate that they didn't um remember how they had the interaction between davis and monet and she was like stop calling playing on her phone and hanging up and all that and he's like he didn't and he shows her the call out I hate that they didn't show him thinking about what she said or her showing him that his number did call. Because sex over here, he being sneaky. He always been sneaky. But yeah, how he like, I keep saying, I'm going to say every review because I don't understand how they let him make it. But other people over here gone. 
But yeah, uh, he over here just getting away with everything. He got got pictures. He gathering evidence. He working with Sullivan. And I was like, he is the problem. He is the problem for Ghost now. Now you're the problem for Tariq now. Whitman has become obsessed. I ain't gonna say become because he was before. Remember, he was he was questioning everybody. Then wasn't he accusing Zeke at first? Then he started accusing Carrie of doing this and that. And I said, this man is obsessed, and he's gonna get handled. Somebody I don't know who gonna be the one to do it, but they are gonna get him because he connected all the dots before the doggone fed people. I said, look, he the one. His obsession is causing him, but he ain't making it. If you know all these people, I understand you in law enforcement. You in law enforcement and stuff, and so I guess you think you. Touchable. Well, if you know that uh, what was the Ramon or whatever his name was got handled, what you think gonna happen to you? But he don't care. But yeah, he has become obsessed or dedicated. I ain't gonna just say obsessed. He might just be dedicated to getting Monet. And I said, do we actually even know what happened to Carrie? Because last we saw her, Monet was in there talking to us to her or saying stuff to her about everything. Next thing you know, they show her hanging and Monet gone. But Monet tells Davis they need to meet up with Whitman. Um, because he came and he was at the bar and just all that. But Davis doesn't think it's a good idea because he said Monet's got Monet got a mouth on her. I said that's true. She gonna tell something. She and she did. She did. I said look, she ain't thinking straight or something because her grief is causing her to not. We ain't seen her really do nothing much this season so far. Granted, it's only episode three, but we haven't seen her do dilly freaking squat and self grieve, and we haven't seen the funeral either. I guess they waiting to have that. Because they supposed to have a shootout during the funeral. I just thought about that. But yeah, with me over here obsessed or dedicated both <laughs> to getting Monet. He started telling them that she's the one that's the head ring. They need to get her. But they focus on Tyreek. They end up meeting up with women. And I was like, I knew right then and there that it was going to be a bad idea. So before that, um, she tells Davis, like I was saying earlier, to stop calling her and hanging up. And he shows her the phone, proving that he didn't. And uh, eventually, like I said, they meet up with Whitman. They meet up with Whitman. So he pulls out all the photos. He got photos of Rico. He got photos of all these other people that came to the bar and never, <laughs> and never came out the bar and just everything. He got his evidence, basically. He doing more. He got more evidence than the people that's been on this case since Power Season One. <laughs> was it Sullivan on that case since Season One of Power? Look, he got more evidence than them. He basically lets Monet and Davis know that he knows more than they think, and you can tell by Davis' face that he wasn't expecting it. So Monet was like, "You need to be focused on getting the guap that did this to Zeke," and he was like, "He wasn't aware." That it was a guap member. And, and Davis was looking like, look, I knew I shouldn't have brought her. I knew I shouldn't have brought her because she got a big mouth, like he said. So, he was like, I thought it was a case of mistaken identity. That uh, Zeke ended up getting the bullet that was meant for Mecca. I was like, he did. But, yeah, Monet is a hot head. She over here snitching and stuff. Um, Sex sees Tariq, Monet, and Davis together and see Tariq leaving. And he takes a picture of it. I said, look, don't get yourself hurt trying to catch these folks but yeah and i was like at first i thought tyreek seen him because they showed him looking and i was like maybe he did you never know but um davis and monet end up filing a harassment claim against uh whitman but they don't and he gets suspended but they don't help because well they said he's he's riding the desk that i guess he's still suspended you still could be suspended but yeah he's riding the desk but at the end of towards the end of the episode you see him outside the doggone uh house Monet house watching still he was still watching so I was like the man uh -uh. they gonna get him and he don't know what he doing um well let's see so Sax meets up with David's brother Theo um and he's asking him about hiding stuff and I was like I had forgot about that I had forgot that Davis was the one who committed the act so he's questioning him about height and the, uh, Theo is like, um, basically he didn't have time for it. He left, <laughs> he left, but he gave, provided him with information. And he was like, let me, um, I'll let my brother know you came by. And I was like, yep, sex knows. And he going to use that to his advantage. Now, um, Davis knows that sex visited his brother, Theo. And he knows that Davis, sex knows that Davis is the one who committed the crime. And he agrees to help him to help get Theo out. He agrees, but I said he going to use this to his advantage. Or he going to let Sullivan know. Or he going to let somebody know. Or something's going to happen. Um, But, yeah, I was like, look, sex can't be trusted. He I, Hopefully, Davis thinks about 
the phone call thing because he was like, when she told him, he showed her the call log, but she didn't show him the call log. That would have been what actually proved that sex knows that sex was in his phone. Okay, so Drew sleeping with randoms trying to get over every, but he's still watching every page and stuff. And I was like, dude, just let it go. He's sleeping. Look, that's going to be his problem. Or it already is his problem. That's why his mind ain't in the game. I said last review, I think, if he get his mind in the game, he's going to be the real leader, I feel like. It's between him and Diana. Because Kane, Kane going to take himself out. <laughs> he's going to eventually take himself out. But I say it's either going to be Drew or Diana because Diana be pulling stuff together too. She be pulling. But the thing about it, though, is she be trying. She be. I don't even know what to say about her. Because on the preview for next week's episode, they show her meeting up with Whitman. I guess Monet had her do it. And she's saying, uh, my mother sent me here to lie to you and everything. And I was like, I know she ain't trading on Monet. And she don't like Monet because she also on the season three trailer saying that Monet the reason why all good things end and everything fails. I was like, she going to try to take out Monet. She going to try to take out Monet. Well, Monet going to try to take her out. Tariq and meet up with the uh, Nomad people. What's the dude's name? I, I haven't learned his name yet. The dude. And he's threatening. He puts down pictures of they loved ones. And he's saying if they don't get him the money, then he going to hurt. He going to take all of them out. And the first one to go is going to be Diana. The first one to go is going to be uh, Diana. And I said, does Noma, that Noma lady know about this? Or is this one of them situations where the person is doing it on their own? Um, because we haven't seen her again, but that is her right hand man. But that's not, we've seen people trade on they, they, uh, leader before. But, um, Effie trying to tell Tariq she wanted to move Prada at Stanfield. Diana may just be a force as well because she in class just blurting out. I said she might be a force. That ain't with a hut on. I know, I combined it wrong. I said Diana gonna be a problem because she, they in class talking about, um, uh, Something and she blurts out the capital. Something about capital, and she oh uh, <laughs> she blurted out that her family used her and then threw her away. And I said when they no longer needed her, I said you ain't supposed to be telling that. And I said that's she too emotional. She too emotional, and that's what's gonna lead her to tell too much to this Celine dude. The Celine dude. I was been saying. I been saying. I hope they repeat what his name is because I could have just looked it up. I could have just looked it up, but I was like, what is his name? But, uh, yeah, I said she already from the suite with him and everything. And I said, look, he might be, because they said they had somebody within the organization. But that would make you think that they are already in there. And we he's not in the organization yet. But, uh, yeah, he up to something. I feel like he up to something. He talking about, he Googled Diana and, them and her, her father. He know about her father and them substances. He went to jail and all that. It's a lot. It's a lot. And all that stuff. Kane watches them. Then the guy introduces himself. He introduces himself. And so Kane was like, he needs to talk to her. He, first, he told the dude that your name sound made up. <laughs> he told him your name sound made up. He tells her to be careful and to come over and everything. And he helps her out. And I said, yeah, he definitely, he he went far to, he, how do I say it? He made it clear that he was trying to get close to her from the jump. But that don't mean that uh, he no crook. But somebody is because they said they got somebody within the organization. But who is it? But I was thinking, like, I seen everybody saying him. And I was like, it could be because he clearly, either he just interested in Diana or he up to something. But if for them to say that, um, for them to say that, that uh, the person is already in the organization, you would think it would be one of the people. But who would it be? I was saying Effie at first, but now I'm not too sure. Diana ends up approaching Effie. Effie says she's not fighting over no man or whatever. Says she says she's not gonna. Uh, Diana ends up saying she's not gonna work for them because they kept her out of loot. So now she's she still you know pushing. She about to start moving things for uh, her father. And I said it won't be long before that Salim dude finds out. Salim, Salim, whatever his name. Is. <laughs> I think he said Salim. They show tape with the professor Harper. When uh, Sullivan and them approached him about Tariq. And I said, yep, Tariq, everybody gunning for you just like they was gunning for ghosts. Um, so Kane wants Brandon to take out the connect so they could end up being the connect. And I said, he ain't going to be able to do it. I, look, you could tell he wasn't he wasn't built for that part. He'd be so excited to do whatever Kane want. And I said, you fool. You know what Kane will do to you? 
So he with the, in front of the guy, whatever. He's trying to pull his. The guy front ends up about to pull his weapon out. He pulls his weapon out. But he, well, he didn't get a chance, I don't think. Tyreek ends up running up and he saves Brayden. They should have known that they was going to find out. That Kane was going to find out. So, um, Kane was. They had the little meeting at the uh, condo. And. Kane was like, I heard that a white dude, I heard that a white dude, uh, the one took him out, he was like, nah, it was a black guy. And I said, oh, Brayden. So when Brayden ends up getting that doggone text, when he ends up getting a text or whatever, I was like, that's Kane, he gonna be mad. So they showed Brayden, he's so freaking gullible. He don't, I feel like he actually trusts Kane, even though he's been shown why he shouldn't. So you know that chilling stuff. Can't come up behind him with the dog a weapon and say he told him that's twice that he didn't do what he said and everything. He's starting to think that he didn't do it with he didn't uh, take out Lauren. He was like, he was basically trying to convince Kane. He's like, look, I got it done. It got done or whatever. Your hands not dirty. And he was like, okay. Basically, he told Brayden that he's gonna eventually have to. Uh, he owes him a body. And I said, Brayden, 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 you gonna learn to stay. <laughs> you should stay over there, Weston. Even though they got a whole lot of stuff going on as well. But yeah, look, Kane, I said, that's why I said Kane probably going to have him take out his cousin them or his father. It's going to be somebody like that. I don't know who, like, but we'll see. But yeah, Davis can't be trusted. I wouldn't trust Davis either. I feel like if he sees an opportunity for self-benefit, he's going to take it. He's going to take it. But let me make sure. I don't think it was nothing else going on. This episode was kind of boring, to be honest. Nothing too much was going on at all. Um... But yeah, y'all let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode down below. Oh, why I said it? <laughs> let me know what you thought of the episode down below. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Deuces!